Cyber Monday in the U.S. hits a record. U.S. shoppers spent $12.4 billion, which was an increase of 9.6% from a year ago, making it the biggest online shopping day ever, according to Adobe. Of course, these numbers are not inflation adjusted, but that's still the biggest number either way. The conference board's consumer confidence number was higher than expected, but lower than last month, and last month was revised lower. New home sales were a little bit better than expected. All, I'm sorry, house price index, not new home sales. Also expectations in the conference board's numbers are below 80 for the third consecutive month. That's not a very strong number. All of this contributing to a slight uptick in equities. They were down earlier this morning. Right now the Dow's up about three tenths, the S&P a little bit more than a tenth, the NASDAQ right around a tenth, and the Russell a little bit more than a tenth of 1%. Yields are basically unchanged with the twos tens inversion still sitting at negative 46. Crude oil net longs have dropped according to Bloomberg. Crude oil is currently up over 2% as we await that OPEC plus meeting later in the week. Copper's up about 1.3%. Gold and silver are both higher by 0.9 and 0.8% respectively. Nickel is also rallying, so industrial metals might be leading this. Central bank speakers today, Fed Governor Christopher Waller already spoke, and he's saying he's increasingly confident that policy is well positioned. We still have Fed Governor Michelle Bowman, Fed Vice Chair for Supervision Michael Barr, Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsby, also ECB President Christine Lagarde, ECB Chief Economist Philip Lane, Bank of England Deputy Governor Dave Ramsden, and Bank of England Policymaker Jonathan Haskell. Later tonight, Bank of Japan policymaker Adachi Seiji is also speaking. Looking ahead, upcoming earnings that may matter, U.S. Uh, companies like Workday, Hewlett Packard, NetApp, CrowdStrike, Splunk, Fluence Energy, and NanoX. In terms of data, tonight we get Australia's monthly CPI index, tomorrow German inflation, and the second estimate for third quarter GDP here in the U.S. That'll be important. Also, more Fed speak and the Fed's Beige Book tomorrow.